Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here and welcome to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic. Today we are going to be doing the Ragefire Chasm dungeon and we're going to be tanking that on our Tauren warrior here. We are level 15. Joining us will be a level 13 druid trying to heal this. A level 15 undead warlock, 13 blood elf paladin, and a 14 blood elf paladin. We are uh, very heavy on plate wearing melee odds are we don't get anything out of this run but we do have a few quests that we can complete so we'll be looking forward to doing that we're gonna get everybody summoned in and then we'll get going all right here we go this should be interesting this will be the first time that i'm tanking on a warrior that can use thunderclap in defensive stance previous to burning crusade uh, you could only use it in battle stance, so if you wanted the Thunderclap for AoE threat, you had to stance dance quite a bit. Not going to have to worry about that here today. Let's wait and make sure we have everybody in. Alright, that looks like everybody to me. Uh, we're getting some buffs, so I'll hold off a second to see if we get Might. Might would feel right. Alright, uh, there we go. Buffs have gone out. Let's see if anybody wants to drink. Nobody's drinking. And we're pulling. So far, it feels like we are holding threats. It's the bad thing though, I guess there's not really much of a point for us to charge in because we're going to lose all of our rage when we stance dance. Because we don't have tactical mastery. <laughs> so that's something. Uh, once we have Tactical Mastery, Stance Dancing will be a little bit more useful, but I, I think for the time being, we just go in. I'm going to try to save a little bit of Rage from pull to pull. Yeah, healing is actually hard with no talent points. Yeah, I, I'll believe that. Kind of taking this a little bit slowly. Just to kind of feel out the group. Uh, okay. That guy just decided to take off. Not sure why. Uh, two-handed sword. Uh, I'd love to just grab that to have a have a decent weapon. I'm gonna take it. If somebody else needs it, they are definitely free to need over it. But uh, that would be a big improvement for soloing.
Who is looting while there are still enemies up? How dare you? Oh yeah, we can share the quest. At least I, I think I have a couple that I can share. That's all we have. Well, <laughs> pop everything. Uh, yeah, at this stage, I don't have any cooldowns, I don't believe. So we have to be a lot more careful. That's good to know. Uh, yeah, we don't really have any cooldowns to speak of. We'll see if they can get this. Uh, I think we could just run back in at this point. Uh, I do want to get credit for anything that they kill, though. Let's just run back in. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Robert. Robert, Robert, Robert. You're playing uh, classic, man. You're not going to spawn anywhere near the dungeon entrance. We're going to go ahead and count this as wipe number one. That was quite fast. Um, I'm going to take full responsibility for that. Kind of thought we could handle a bunch of the little guys, but apparently that's just not the case. So we're going to pull a lot more carefully, and we're going to treat it like a hard mode run. Alright, so yeah, the new plan is to not pull more than three of them. I don't even know if I want to take on the four here or not. Maybe we'll try to body pull back a little bit. Uh, have buffs gone out? Yeah, I think that buffs have gone out. Of course, we're still waiting on one. Any pull larger than two is going to drain my mana fast. I think boss fights are going to be kind of rough. Well, man, I mean, <laughs> it's Rage Fire Chasm. It, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. We have two paladins in the group. They have heals. It's going to be absolutely fine. We just can't over pull. All right, uh, I'm going here. Yeah, this druid is definitely going to have uh, some issues with mana, that is true. Uh, we'll just try to go slowly, and it should be okay, but I'm hoping that they have a lot of water with them, otherwise this is going to be tough. Can we get in here without pulling the two on our left? Looks like it. Alright, what is going on in here? Let's see, maybe we need to do this.
Uh, it looks like those are going to be a pretty big upgrade. I'm going to roll on that. And I think we got them. Not going to be able to find them in my inventory right now, of course. Having the loot pop up would be good if I could see the, how the loot falls. Because, yeah, I didn't get those and I don't know where they went. Okay, then. Moving on. Yeah, it made the loot sound like I got something, but uh, I'm not seeing them in all of my inventory. If I got them, I'd put them right on, but... I'm sure with three other plate wearers in the group, somebody else probably needed them as well. Can I add loot to my chat window here? Items and loot. There we go. Well, this is going to be at least a three pull. I really don't think that there's any way around it. And one of them is going to be a boss. So, yeah, let's just hope for the best. Looks like that quest turns back in in Thunder Bluff. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, I will say it's going much more smoothly only taking out one enemy at a time and not trying to group pull. Somehow that didn't pull the rest of his buddies back there, I appreciate that. Not really sure which way we're gonna go here, or if this is uh, the only real boss in here. Not too familiar with Rage Fire, even though I've run it a bunch of times. I think we're gonna have to go over here. Uh, this might be a little bit challenging. Can I pull this guy by himself? No. <laughs> no, the answer to that is no. Uh, I also really don't want to run in there to aggro the caster because that's going to pull the other two guys. So I feel like we just have to stand here for a second. Yeah, this is not going to be good. Oh, okay. Oh, we almost got him by himself. going to give the healer a moment to get his health back here. Uh, do we want to go this way first? Like, do we have to run right in and fight this guy? Okay, apparently everyone just wants to run right in and fight this guy. Uh, yeah, that's... I, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure he is the only real main boss in here. I mean... For some reason I always remember there being a giant lava worm, but I, I think that was after the Cataclysm revamp. Okay, uh, here we go. Oh, we are just getting our ass handed to us here. And here we go, looting while there's enemies up, great. Well, at least we cleared the quest. Now, I don't know for sure if there's anything else here that we want to do or not. There's got to be something else back here. Uh, how is the healer's mana looking? Not too bad. I want to go in while I still have threat. Or rage even. Uh, 
Uh, this one might be a little bit tough. I am going to try to pull way back here. Because I don't trust that. Oh, hi there. I did not notice that you existed. Whence did you come from? Are we gonna swing? There we go. <laughs> Great. If we do a Baz first, there is a sick pull from up top to grab the last boss. I don't know what that means. I actually don't know what any of that means. I want you to come back here a little bit. I'm guessing there's no way we go around these guys, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pull back here. Uh, that would be a much better shield than we have because the gear we have is basically non-existent. Okay, well that went actually into our bags this time. That's great. Equip that right away. Uh, I kind of wanted to check out what's over here. Apparently, though, for some reason we want to go this way, I guess, to go up the ramp here. Uh, yeah, I'll play, but we're going to do it like this. I mean, I guess we don't need to say anything. <laughs> we'll just kind of lead the way up there, I guess. Oh, oh, they're... No, they're down there and we're up here. W what does that mean exactly? Is this not leading to the same spot? I don't know. You'd think after running this dungeon a million times, I would, like, know the route pretty well, but I don't. I don't know the route pretty well. Directionally challenged, essentially. There's a lot of compact shotguns that we're getting. Oh, this looks like a damn mess. This looks like an absolute mess. Okay, well, let's try to pull him around the corner here. I I'd like the healer to have more mana than he does. He's not drinking, so I'm just concerned. Like, really concerned. Well, somehow with all that, we only got the two of them, so I don't know, I'll take it. Can we body pull him? Yeah.
Oh, those would have been nice bracers to have. I'm gonna have to start being like a lot more selective about the people that I bring on dungeon runs, which is kind of rude, but you know, when you bring a bunch of people that wear the same type of gear that you do, you're not likely to get any drops. I mean, we got a shield, a green shield, but hey, at least it's something. Uh, I'm assuming what, do we need to clear the rest of this? Are we trying to get to this item? I have no idea. That's all these guys cleared out. I want to go up this path back here and see where that goes. Hopefully we'll have a group that follows us, uh, but to be determined. I'm fairly certain that the healer ran out of water to drink about halfway through the run. Pretty sure that happened. Again here, I think we do need to pull these guys back just a little bit, like maybe even all the way back here. That looks great. That caster, oh, okay, we're getting traded something. Not really a great time for that to be happening. All right, well, it was, should have been a simple thing just to kind of step out of line of sight a little bit. This guy would have followed us right back there, but apparently someone was still in his line of sight. Hey, there's level 16. That's pretty awesome. Let me go ahead and finish off the improved charge talents. Uh, I'm getting, then going to pull you by yourself, I hope. be an upgrade but not with stats that we actually need. another two-handed sword. Now we grabbed a sword earlier. S Spirit and stamina with 44 top end. Yeah, I think that's gonna be fine. 
I don't know what we're looking at here. You can do the top first. Oh, okay. Cool. Right on. I don't even know if there's a reason to come back here or not, or if they're just humoring me and pulling all the way through. Less XP though. Yeah, I don't I don't want less XP. Not at this level. I'd like to have all the XP, please. Alright, looks like this is the last guy, so there are a few bosses here. I don't know if I've ever done a full clear of this place, uh, when I think about all the people we found here today. Compared to what I usually clear in here. And yeah, that's that's gonna be it. I'm pretty sure that is essentially a full clear minus a couple of trash packs down here. Pretty good run. We had a little bit of a rough start, but once we got our uh, the wind in our sails, everything was uh, pretty smooth. So yeah. All right, this is gonna be the second of our dual back-to-back -back rage fire runs. Pretty short, so I figure we do it again. This time we have a level 13 priest on heals. We kept zero DPSing on the warlock. We have a paladin, a different paladin on DPS, and a rogue. Uh, I think we are pretty much good to go. Oh, we got another quest here that we didn't have before. Perfect. And yeah, data's reset and recount, so let's get into things here and see how we do with a slightly different group composition. Knowing that we can't pull too much, but maybe thinking we can stand to pull a little bit more uh, with a priest healer and some different DPS in the group. And yeah, we don't have a lot of AoE. There's not a lot of AoE at this level. The last group, they had it right uh, when they said that, so... We'll just kind of pull one or two at a time, but I'm going to try to keep up a pretty steady pace of pulling because it looks like the priest is probably going to do a lot better on mana than the previous healer did. Just by virtue of their class, I think. Is that the priest probably gets more mana to play with. I don't really want to go in there and pull a bunch of stuff. We kind of learned that lesson last time. I, I think even pulling this one out and just taking that three pull on its own is probably a good idea. 
I mean, these guys certainly have the DPS, I just don't know if I can keep threat on that many and keep the healer safe. No healing for you, please. Kind of just going to do the full tour again since we sort of just learned the path. Maybe if I do it twice back to back, it'll actually stick in my head for longer than the few minutes that it takes to do it. Uh, yep, this is going to be the upwards limit of what we're going to do here. Let's not pull any more for the time being. Let's see how we handle this three pull. Seems like it's going pretty good so far. The healer still has a bit of mana. Yep, healer has a bit of mana, we are still alive, seems like that's pretty good, 3 is probably what we want to aim for. Uh, we got a couple of people without mana, I want to see if they want to drink, they don't really seem inclined to want to drink. So we're going to keep going. Uh, we are going to try to roll on those because that would be an upgrade, <laughs> sad as that is. Uh, let's go ahead and equip that now. Uh, can I pull these guys out on their own? I really am not sure. Yeah, we can. We can pull the ads on their own. Didn't know that. That's really good to know. Not a really great place to fight though. Not a great place to fight and to see what's actually going on. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. That's a pretty cool looking shield. Now, I don't believe for a minute that it's very effective, but it looks really cool, especially for a Tauren. It, it really does have that Tauren warrior look, doesn't it? Very nice.
It's funny how they give you almost all the shamans you need on the main path, but then there's always one that I guess you don't get unless you go off the path a bit. Back in that direction. I really like the idea of the dungeons that don't take a super long time to do, to just do back-to-back -back runs if the group is uh, amenable to that. I think it's uh, a good way to do dungeons, you get to kind of get into your stride the first run, and then the second run you kind of know the pulls that are going to be tricky, you can do, you can kind of feel out the group comp and maybe pull a little bit differently depending on the composition that you have in the group. Also just, you know, having a, another chance to get some drops is always a good thing. Um, so that's good. We've already had much better luck in this run getting drops than we did in the previous run, but we had like two other plate wearers in the previous run, so it's to be expected that getting a drop would be a little bit more challenging. Uh, that's a cool axe. Uh, the ones I have are not as good. Kind of tempted to need that, but I won't. Feel like I've been basically needing everything, and we're not in here as DPS. So I'll, I'll hold off. I've already got a two-handed sword, I think, from the last run. I'm actually surprised that we can use Rend on these elementals. Apparently this did not pull the two in the back, they're just going to kind of watch as we uh, murder their buddy. It's very rude of them. I'd like to use Thunderclap more, but it costs so much rage that we, uh, we never have the rage to do it when it would be timely. Uh, yeah, this might be a little bit tough. Uh, how did we approach this before? Well, we didn't do it while she was pathing down here. That's, that's what we didn't do. Okay, let's let her path away. Alright, here we go. It's gonna be a fun one. Let's come back here. I think I'm dazed or something. I'm not really sure what happened to me there. Well, it didn't turn out too bad. It wasn't very pretty, but... It did get the job done. Anybody want to get some mana back? Anybody. Okay, the healer is drinking. The warlock is not drinking.
Fire Nova is bad. Uh, we're gonna roll on that because we're wearing a white cloak. I have a feeling there's enough loot in here that I could probably do this five or six times and get a bunch of loot from it uh, if I was so inclined. Uh, it doesn't really matter which way we go from here. We have to clear the same amount of packs either way. I'm going to try to body pull these two. There we go. Nothing like a spam guild invite in the middle of a dungeon. Uh, which way are we going to go here? We could go up here first. A lot of green drops going on. It's good. I really want this caster to come back here. I don't want to pull that second group, so I'm kind of hoping they just let this happen. It looks like we got the caster. Pretty good. We'll clean this guy up before we take the rest of them. I didn't get the Void Walker, tab targeted and taunted the wrong enemy. Second spam guild invite of the dungeon. Uh, let's let the healer get some mana back. That would be pretty amazing for him. I'm sure he'd be happy about it, and we would be happy about it too when we don't die.
Well, that's not good. Well, it looks like we're getting back in. Sort of. Retrieving realm list. Well, that's interesting. Did the servers go down in the middle of our run? We had that boss to go, which looks like he had just gone down. Somebody was able to loot the item at least. And uh, we had one more boss that we could have optionally done down below where we were at. But yeah, it looks like maybe something happened to the servers. Well, that's convenient. Welcome to the toils of playing a live game. Uh, I'm going to give this some time and we'll see if it comes back up. If not, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate all the support. It does mean the world to me. If you liked the video, what there was of it, please feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you're interested in seeing more content. I'll give this a few minutes to try to get back in, but if I don't see you, take care of yourselves out there in the real world and take care of each other, and we will see you back in Azeroth sometime really soon.